With more than 500 homeless children in Roanoke City Schools, there's a big goal to get families help and solve the problem at the root. Joining us is Mayor elect Sherman Lee, and thank you so much for being with us this morning. Tell me about what families are considered homeless in Roanoke City. Well, those families that do not have a permanent place to live, families that live from hotel or place to place uh, each night, and it's a really touching situation. But that's the main concern, is having a, a stable place, a permanent place to stay. And we're concerned with that. And at this point, we're making an effort to, to improve that. And how does the city address the homelessness? Well, first of all, it's bringing key people together. Because this is a problem that no one entity can address or government can't do itself, but bringing partners together to come together, the faith community, uh, that's very important. We need to come in and bring in the schools. That's important. And also, uh, as people in the system realize we're doing a real good thing with United Way to make sure that's coming. So bringing people together and providing the technical advice and, and, and more than anything else, a want-to attitude. We want to make a difference. We want to change their lives and give some of our children hope. And that's what I'm inspired and motivated to do, and I sense that within our city and our community. And when you think about more than 500 homeless children in a city that you will soon be mayor of, what does that mean to you? It means we got a lot of work to do. It means that we want to give all of those children a place to stay and to give them hope. And that's the thing that, that concerns me is sometimes as you move from place to place, shelter to shelter, it's tough to get an education, it's tough to retain what you learn in school, and it's just difficult. And so my focus has, has been my career throughout my council service and my uh, advocation is to work hard to make sure that these young people are given an opportunity and first and foremost is shelter and a place to stay. And many people may not realize this, but you're a former probation officer. So tell me about how crime and homelessness sometimes go hand in hand. Oh uh, Well, I've worked as a probation parole officer with the Department of Correction for 35 years, and I've seen the difficult situations of not having a home, not knowing where you're going to stay. And I think it, it there's a direct correlation between homelessness and your involvement in crime. So I think we will really have to work hard to make sure that we can resolve and solve this issue because it breeds crime. People react, people have a tendency to do things, uh, act out in a way that they normally wouldn't if there was a place, had a place to live. And so I think there's a connection there and we're doing the right things in our community and that's where I hope to lend some of my expertise in working and helping and doing what I can do. And so uh, again, I think we've got a great plan in front of us uh, and the main thing is we're committed to doing it and uh, I'm encouraged by what I see. Mayor Alex Sherman Lee, thank you so much. And if you want to give, you can give now on WSLS.com or you can watch on Wednesday, June 29th from 5 a.m. to 8 p.m. It's the 10 Cares Rise Up Roanoke Telethon. We'll have a phone bank along with special programming that day. Our 30-minute special starts at 7.30 p.m. Your gift could give a child stability and security before school starts.